usually join you for shopping so guess what we got a big brown box and very nondescript except for some logo there so mr. star has released I guess some would call it the basic of all basic palettes, um, although the name certainly is not basic. Um, definitely, I've heard controversial, um, but hello, I'm in my 40s. I don't even know why I'm buying Jeffree Star stuff because, hello, I'm in my 40s and it seems kind of odd, but um, I, and let me stop here real quick. I saw the cremated and I was like, um, yes, I, uh, hello, yeah, inner goth person. Of course, I was totally mesmerized by that. But honestly, just the shade range of it. I know it's like, oh, great, it's boring. It's not. It actually is a really pretty palette. Um, I like the, uh, just the assortment of, uh, of basicness in it. So this what I consider the, the neutral and basic palette. So when um, the uh, group fun palette, I'll, call, I'll say that, I'll show it. But um, when that was announced, I got really excited. So here is the packaging. I actually ordered a hoodie too, because I thought um, it looked like high um, doll and warm comforting fun stuff I ordered white cream the cream hoodie kind of like teddy bear fleecy okay, out of the pa packaging it's really nice so you can kind of see it there that fuzzy so teddy bear kind of fur um oh look it's kind of thin it kind of reminds me of my barefoot dreams and i'm not wearing one today <laughs> because it's 97 degrees out right now but um yeah the koji chic light kind of fabric Ooh, even better they were still out of the brown in my size well not the size i like to buy because i like to buy it bigger um but this will do this will do i really like how that's gonna look and I got the bundle. I'll see if that reads in there. Yeah. So, of course, girl likes her savings here. Um, I wanted to... Initially, I wasn't so thrilled with the um, palette as a whole, the giant palette. Because I'm like, hello, every shade of brown. And I have a palette very similar to that. I'm trying to remember it's Tartiste or something like that. I can't remember which one I have, but um, one that's just a lot of browns. And I'm not I'm not a matte girl. I like the shinies. Um, matte's okay for a few things, but for the most part, I like the shimmer. Um, shimmer it up when I do um, or makeup. And every time I'm on here, I'm not wearing makeup. So you're probably thinking I'm crazy. Um, but so I, when I do wear my eyeshadow, I like... Um, I might wear one mat, but everything else is, is usually some version of shimmer. I don't get I don't get crazy. I'm not like the YouTubers that have 19 shades and a cut crease and all that jazz going on, but um did my fair share of of colors. So the bundle has both um that one and the mini. And this was the one I was excited about because it has all the shimmers. But when I saw the price for the two of them, and I want to say it was, like you say, like 20 bucks buying both of them. I was like, well, I might as well. It's like, like getting this one for like five bucks or whatever. So bit the bullet. And then, of course, <laughs> blood free shipping. So got the sweater. So the whole combination of everything got me to the, um, the free shipping component. I'm having a lot of these outer cartons. 
I honestly have only bought a few things from Jeffree Star, so I haven't had um, too much experience. I have Androgyny, I had a Mystery Pack, and then I got Cremated. That's pretty much my extent to Mr. Star's um, products. And like I said, being of a, a woman of a certain age, as they like to refer to us. Um, I'm um, obviously not his demographic, but I thought this really was actually quite nice. And I really like his formula. So um, for all people might think about his actions or behaviors or whatever, I think, you know, you do you. Oh, glory hole is all messed up. I got a big nasty black smudge down there. So that kind of sucks, but hey, it is what it is. But I really did enjoy um, the fact that it was like every possible shade. This would be like a great palette for someone who was a professional um, makeup artist because it was like, hello, everybody's base. Like, where am I? I'm about gender fluid, I guess, would be my, <laughs> would be my color of skin. So it's like, I looked at it and I literally was like, oh, look, it's foundation. But um you know base your base color and then build on top of it i think it's a really good um basic palette but even so i could still build a lot of really good looks on it i do want to use it in combination with the other palette i'm gonna flop this over like this um because like i said this is um especially being I'm 44. So being my age, this would look drying on me and kind of probably crack after the hours of, I work usually 12 hour days. So it would not be a, a good longevity on my skin. So that's that real quick. I'll do a couple swatches in a mo. Um, let's do mini orgy real quick. Oh, I said it. I have to clean that out. I like how the packaging coordinates mini orangey oh there goes the plastic and those see those yes all over that the minute i saw this one i was just like yes need it gotta have it don't care about the rest of it but this one was just like yes so i'm gonna go ahead and do so they're almost like sheer like the Glass wet, it's a, it's like a glitter. This is pressed glitters? This is eyeshadow palette. That, the glass wet definitely is like pressed glitter. It, it's PC. Um, I, I mean, it's still pretty as, as all hell, but let me try to swatch this the best I can. It's like on me, it's really light. Yeah, totally pressed, like pressed glitters. Cause that's like, not sticking that frozen fire you can see it on my finger it's like really odd um anyway so that's the first that's glass wet champagne drip gagging soaking sun and frozen fire i'm gonna i mean they're still very very neutral and of course i'm uncooked chicken as teresa's dead says in my coloring they are very um light i'd say champagne drip definitely shows up the best on my skin and soaking sun's probably next but the other ones are really like you'd need some glitter glue or something to to get those suckers on okay so the last four bath house let me use that one yeah that one's nicer bath house is nice i like that one explicit good foam parties i'll do on that thing i'll leave i'll show it to you right there it's yeah it's kind of grainy on the finger if you press really hard and it does swatch but um yeah it definitely needs needs something and then i will tap her so there's the other one so that was again bathhouse explicit foam party and Eiffel Tower and foam party is the one that's a little bit particulate but I really like bathhouse that's really pretty it the shift on it's gorgeous um 
explicit's a good caramel i think is the color i'm thinking of and then that eiffel tower it's like copper copper brown it's just a really pretty deep color i really like it so those are those are nice so i'm i'm happy this is what i was looking for and i really like it so excited i'm gonna wipe off a little bit <laughs> it's so funny i'm gonna wipe off i feel like i just went and did something <laughs> something that might coincide with that i need to wipe it off that's funny i'm all for double entendres and all sorts of fun stuff definitely not uh shy or um a prude so i thought it was hysterical that he chose this as the naming for this palette so anywho let's find some some random ones let's do the white i'm shy it doesn't even show up i am so white it doesn't even show up on me i mean it's just like this ghost of a oh yeah you can see it in the camera how funny i cannot see it on me but in the camera it's right there totally white um so that's i'm shy let's look at safe sex that's hysterical that looks like really like poo brown i guess would be the best way to describe that but it actually is not bad on the skin so there's safe sex Good crease color. Let's do body chills. Body chills looks interesting. I like that one too. Nice. So body chills. Like it. And let's. I'm close. Let's look at that close. I didn't like I'm close as much. I'm close is kind of patchy, but. Like with mats, that's I expect that with mats. It's just not um, anything you're gonna do very, very easily. Let's see, do I have a? Gosh, let's see, safe sex. Oh wow, I got hello fallout. It might just be my brush. So a lot of kick up in the pan, but that went on really well. No primer, no nothing. I mean, this is like naked skin. Just went on, I think it went on really well. It's a really good base. I'll try to show right there safe sucks I don't know if you can see all that in there but yeah it's a lot of loose powder still I mean I like it it's not a bad um, product let me clean off my brush here what should we do on the other eye because that one almost looks like exactly like my eyelid that's amazing safe sucks okay let's find one that's going to let's do body chills again a lot of kick up in the pan. Let's see. Not mad at it. It blends out really well. I did not take a lot of product at all. Again, naked skin. That's a lot of pigmentation. That did not, I did not, I did uh, just one dip. Um, this is a, B a Bare Essentials brush that I've had forever. I, I mean, I, I, I should show you my pan of, I have a wall of Bare Essential pots up there. So I've had this forever, full tapered shadow brush um, from a kit I had for years. Um, love it. It's just a really nice full brush, but yeah, that's, that's not bad. That's why I'm buying the, his stuff. It's just very, um, and I know this is not a great job. I'm not a makeup artist in any way, shape or form, but it very, um, very pigmented and I like it. So a couple of first tries, just out of curiosity, let's get another brush. This is my fluffy one. Let's do that white just for the heck of it. So 
So the white is very sheer. I'm shy is very sheer. You could pack it on, I'm sure, with a wet brush and get it to show up more, but that's definitely like, um, I need to blend something out and lighten it up. Yeah. So yeah, that white definitely calms stuff down. So let's say I messed up a little bit over here. Yeah, that white helps out with that. I would use that, yeah, if I, if something was too dark, it'd be a really nice way to kind of calm it down and look a little bit more natural. Nice. Okay. Well, so far so good that on those two, at least let's, um, put some shimmer on top of it. See what happens. So let's see on that brown. Let's try to, let's try the soaking sun one. See what happens. Yep, see, you definitely need glitter glue or something with these that's not, or wet brush, excuse me. Um, it's just not coming on there at all. Yeah, it's disappointing. Let me try a different brush. Let's see if that's the problem. It might be that that brush is very dense. A little bit, a little bit better, but it's still, um, yeah, I would use these wet, I mean, if you really pack it on there, you can kind of start to see it. It's definitely, it definitely takes some, um, some work in there. Let's try... Let's try Eiffel Tower over here and see what happens. There's not a lot of kick up, at least in this pan, not as bad as the other one. So there's the brown Eiffel Tower. Oh, hello fallout. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing the shimmer. This is like a satiny kind of color. And there's my crepey eyelid for being an old hag. But even so, I'm not getting the, the shimmer that I would like. Pick that up. From that so that's disappointing i'll have to try and play with them so that's first impressions i'll apply it try and play with them wet and see if that applies better but yeah that's um a little bit disappointing so like the colors though i'm i don't know why this one isn't working as nicely as the um cremated cremated was doing a lot better on my skin. Now granted, I'm not using, I don't have any primer potion or base on at all or anything, so it, it could be affecting it, but I'm usually able to put some on naked skin and have a good effect. They're still really pigmented though. Um, there's that. It's just this one um, glitter one that definitely needs a whole lot of help to get on there, but those browns, they're on there and I like them. They're they're really pretty colors, so I'll definitely play around some more. Obviously, this isn't a look, so to speak, um, but just a quick test. But I like, they're nice. All right, so that's pretty much everything I got from Jeffrey. Um, I know I have other stuff coming um, down the pike. I'm always ordering stuff. I'm not a beauty guru by any means, but I, whatever I shop and purchase, I will share my, um, thoughts on. Got my FabFitFun coming here in a few. I just got an email saying it was delayed, so it'll be a while. So all sorts of random content here, whatever you, uh, want to share chat let me know 
if you're also of a certain age <laughs> like me, we can bond on, on that, but, um, hope you enjoy. Take care. Bye.